so that we can see the same thing. So I'm going to select War of Light on the sets. I'm going to select War of Light on the basic actions. There it is. I'm going to include the starter packs. I'm going to hide the packs for now so that I can't see. I guess we're we just going to go straight into this now. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we want two packs because there's two of us drafting. I just click get packs. And then now I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to, so I'll stop the sharing now. Then I'm going to, once I clicked dra create draft room, I'm going to send Alex the link. Then I'm going to send the link to Alex and he will get, he'll be able to join the same room and we'll go from there. So create draft room. Okay. So, uh, copy link. I'll send it in the Jitsi page. Um, paste. Send that away. Have you got that? I have. Okay, so we shall moot, uh, moot, moot. We shall mute our microphones and then start the draft. Okay, so I'll be back here in a minute. Okay, so, right, let's go back to this draft pack generator. Old Feather, of course he is. <coughs> so, what you see in front of us is we've got, this is the dice count. So, we can see the basic actions that we've got. See the basic actions that we've got. I'm going to actually put back on Capture Cursor. Uh, so I've got Lethal Force, um, deal one damage to target character die for each of your active characters, that's quite fun, that's a three cost. Also deal one damage to target opponent, Gable, uh, nice, double bolt, deal target character one damage, so it's like Magic Missile but quite a little bit more expensive. You have been chosen, so play only during your main step. Choose an energy type. All characters of that type must attack during their next attack step and deal no combat damage. If these characters are unblocked, return them to the field zone instead of the used pile. Stealth Ops. Yeah, we used that last time. In fact, so its target character die is considered to be level 1 and is unblockable this turn. Pay double mask, spin type character down one level. I think I probably won't choose that because that's really good for everyone else. So I, as well as being able to see what I've got here, these are my 12 cards to start with. I can also see the other cards that aren't listed. Um, I can't see what cards they are though, but I don't have an Atrocitus, so he's in there. I don't have a Beast Boy, so Alex has got Beast Boy. I've got a Carol Ferris. Dexter, I've got one, but there is another one. So, I might go Rage Kitty. Uh, Fatality, I don't have, so Alex will have Fatality. Um... Guy Garner, I do have. Hal Jordan, I don't have. So Alex will have that. Jade, I've got. Uh, the problem with this set, I can't not have Rage Kitty without the other one being there. Miriam is in the other one. Monk is there. Saint Walker's on the other one. Okay. So, no Indigo 1, so Monk is useless, but he is cheap. Right, let's go with... So, Supergirl, 7 cost, that's a lot. When Supergirl attacks, all opposing characters must block if able. I think I'm going to go Dexter, but we'll go. Must block. So, she's kind of a... 
get everything to block if I want to. Atom, Professor of Physics, the rare. At the beginning and end of your turn, you may level up or down Atom when blocking or blocked by a character of higher level. You may spin Atom to level 3 or remove him from combat. I like that. That's quite cool. The Flash, um, it's not great. Decent stats for a 3 cost, but I need to have a Green Lantern for that. Kind of want Jade as well. But Dexter gets plus 1 attack when attacking for each lantern colour in play besides. So I've got to decide then to pick lots of different colours. Carol Ferris cannot be damaged by green or yellow lantern characters in combat. So she's a bit of a defender for the right people. Jade, while Jade is active, whenever a green character attacks, draw a die and add it to your prep area. Carl Rayner, so there's two Carl Rayners. Hopeful Will. Carl Rayner is active. Your lantern characters cost one less to purchase for each active lantern of the same color. So that's quite good. With that, so I'll try and get him. When Laughley's would attack, you may change this. I like that card, but it's a seven. I might choose that one. While Laughley, when Laughley's would attack, you may change a psychic's attack and defense to match Laughley's. If you do, Laughley's can't attack this turn. When fielded, choose a lantern color. Characters who have that affiliation cannot block this turn. See, that's quite fun as well. Guy Gardner. When Guy Gardner is blocked, draw one die and place it in your prep area. So he's got he's got a decent amount of. But if I'm going Dexter, I don't want Guy Gardner. Monk, while Indigo One is active, and there aren't any in this draft set, Monk gets plus two attack and plus two defense. But he has a two cost for a three three. Raven, Rachel Roth. While Raven is active. If another Teen Titans character dies KO'd, you may reroll that die. If the character's face. So the only Teen Titan I can see is Beast Boy. So she's not going to be that useful. So I'm going to go Dexter, which click it, it puts it up here. And then I'm going to confirm selection, which gives me the next pack. Oh, Wonder Girl's there as well. So. Psychic is cared by an opponent. See, that's quite fun, but I do want a higher level double her attack and defense. Wath. So, um, while Wonder Girl is active, the first time each turn a psychic is KO'd by an opponent, deal one damage to your opponent. Two, she's on level three. Now, fatality forecast star sapphire. When fatality is engaged with a character of higher level, double her attack and defense. Wath, brother, at the end of each turn, if you have no other active lantern dice, KO Wath and draw an extra die to He's useful early on. Um, but not after that Atrocitus while Atrocitus is active when shield characters are KO'd they go to the used pile Miri Riam unextinguished devotion when fielded deal one damage to target character for each lantern colour you could draw that might be useful for later Saint Walker can't attack or block unless a green is active Saint Walker gets four attack when engaged with at least one villain oh, see that's nice there's a lot of villains going on lesser Drac is active at the start of your attack step name a character if at least one of those character dice blocks you may move two dice from your opponent's use pile to their back I like that. Scarecrow. 
When fielded, choose a lantern colour, replace no previous choices. Characters with that lantern cost one more to field when he's active. Deck star, blank two cast, I might go for him. Wonder Woman loved by the gods. While Wonder Woman is active, if you roll three or more shields, your psychics are unblockable this turn. Not bad, but I don't like having that sort of energy left over. If you roll them, so, okay. Beast Boy, while you have Fist in your reserve pool, Beast gets plus two and plus two, excluding the question mark. So am I going list of track? This is all a quite a good selection. I wouldn't mind her actually. Let's go for that. So I'm tempted by this jade as the only green. So that's only her though, isn't it? I want laugh -lees. Um Yeah, green or blue, right, so am I going to risk the 7 cost here, yeah, whatever, let's go for a 7 cost to keep the options there, so now I have to wait for Alex because he hasn't, whereas before there was, um, he, he hadn't picked them, oh he'd already picked them, sorry, now I have to wait because he hasn't picked them. Uh -huh. so. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I like this Wonder Girl, but she's not a lantern. So it does kind of... I would need to... I think I'm just going to go for Dexter to get the extra dice. Oh. He took Jade. Damn. I wanted Jade. Okay, so... In which case, let's just start going cheap stuff. I don't want the Flash now. So, Atom to spin him up or down, it becomes a... Carol Ferris cannot be damaged by... Uh, okay, so he's got two greens and he's going to be attacking, so let's go for her. Although maybe he's not going to choose her because... Right, let's go for that. Time to go Wonder Girl. I've got a Star Sapphire, I got Warth. Got a Star Sapphire, I got a Star Sapphire. So Wonder Girl. Yep, confirm her. That's good. Then we're getting into the nitty gritty, so we've still got blue. Alright, at the same colour. I don't think I need that, apart from the fact that he's another colour. So while he is active, if another team is KO'd... Right, that might be my last pick, but I think... He's cheaper, but he's more probably more useful. Yeah, just hope I get that. Uh, While well, the trust is active, when shield characters occur, they get to be used. That includes mine. Okay, if you're all through, I mean, that's just kind of hoping for luck there. Mm -hmm. Just have to hope that, I mean, she's not going anywhere. If she's, at best, she's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. A 6-6, six, six, but she could be a 2-6. Uh, when fielded, deal one damage to target character for each colour. 
we have one, two, three, potentially four, five. Yeah, let's go there. the only colour I don't have. Uh, okay. Alright, so let's just wait. So I've gone for the full spectrum here. I've got as many as I could have. I could have had a green, but I didn't take her in time. So one... Two, three, four, five, six different colours. So, if I have, so while Kyrena is active, your lantern characters cost one less to purchase for each active lantern of the same colour. So if I've got four of those, I could get him. In here. That's a 6-6. Six, six. Could be an early 6-6. Six, six. I'm going to go for Fatality though. It might be that I get Beast Boy last. But then Supergirl. Monk. I've got Atom that's going to be the same colour. Uh, I'm cheap. I don't really want to give him the cheap option. Um, I don't think we're going to stretch that, so I'm going to go Monk, and then I get him. So now, it gives us the URL. So if we click the URL, it takes us to the draft picker. So we can then go into the team builder view in team builder and it will take us right back to the team builder and I can go to edit so I've now got to cut down four cards and four dice that's not too bad and two basic actions all right so Dexter is the only one I've got two of so I'm gonna have Rage Kitty for sure that's an easy one so I now need to get rid of three cards and four dice but taking off three cards is gonna take me down to 18 dice and that's fine so uh, so I want her out of these two I want Atom definitely. Right, let's go like this. So keep, 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 keep. Let's get these bits together. Okay, it sounds like Alex is ready. So I am just going to finish this. First one luckily happens to be so Lethal Force. One, two, three. Oh, it's my four. Green Lantern team from last time. Right on top. There's I don't Jade. think I want it's Atrocities. Jade, Lex, Guy Gardner. I'm no. try and keep this as cheap as possible. So, do, 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 two do, more do. to go. Do I want to cheat one of these to enable Dexter quicker, or do I want? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Uh, daughter of the Golden Age. Or I could get rid of two of these. So he's got green, definitely. So I think I want to keep Carol Ferris with. I think he, that's quite useful. Saint Walker, Scarecrow. Um, I think I'm going to keep Atom. Yeah, so that's quite 
confirm. Um, Promise of hope. I'm going to keep the more expensive one, and then so I have to get rid of one of these three. All right, that's good because I know that he's got those. Build it. Deal one damage to target character for each. I've only got two of those. Right, so we're missing He's Hal Jordan and Guy Gong. So, so she's going to be a 2 6 or a 6 6. Alright, um, deal one fielded. Alright, so that's I'm going for Mary Realm. Eight eighteen, right. right. Let's go back to here and I'm going to say mm -hmm. goodbye on this video. Um so you can carry on watching on the other one now if you have already watched Alex's picking. Okay. So, Bye. Should be it. Is that all ten?